Hey everybody, my name is Taylor Glenn and this is my channel Taylor Tries where I try new things and I try to teach you new things. And today I'm gonna teach you how to do some multiplex tricks with four balls. Before we jump in, obviously you should already know how to juggle the four ball fountain. If you're not comfortable with that already, I have a tutorial that breaks it down. You can check that out. There's a link in the description. Get that down solid. Make sure you can do it. And then you can come back and watch this video and we'll have a great time. If you are super comfortable with the four ball fountain, welcome. Let's move on. So the tricks we're going to cover don't really have names, but this is what they look like. So in order to do multiplex tricks, you need to know how to do multiplex. There are different types of multiplexes, but in this tutorial, we're gonna cover two main ones. They are the stack multiplex and the even split multiplex. Let's break those down. So first we're gonna do the stack multiplex. To start the stack multiplex, you're gonna hold the balls just like you would when you're about to start juggling four balls. You're gonna have one in your palm and one up in your fingers. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw them both up and they're both gonna cross and we're gonna catch them both in the other hand. To do that, we're gonna flick our wrist a little bit and we're gonna use our fingers to push that top ball up. We wanna create a nice separation between the two balls so that we have enough time to correct and catch both of them. You also want the balls to stay in line with each other as they're traveling to the other side. When they come down, you're gonna catch that first ball in the palm of your hand, and then the second ball is gonna land up in the top of your fingers. So basically the ball that's on the bottom when you throw should end on the bottom when you catch. If you're having a hard time getting that separation, just remember to push more up with the fingers. The more you push up, the more separation you're gonna get. If you flick those two fingers up, those balls are gonna separate a lot. If you don't use your finger at all, they're just gonna stay pretty close together. And that's just gonna be a lot harder. So work on that, practice side to side, get to the point where you're pretty comfortable throwing and catching the stack multiplex. All right, the other multiplex is an even split multiplex. We call it that because we're throwing both the balls up at even height and they're splitting and ending in separate hands. Even split multiplex, yeah. So to do the even split multiplex, we're gonna take that grip that we had before for the stack multiplex and we're gonna rotate the balls so they're parallel to our body and resting more up towards the fingers. From here, we're gonna throw the two balls, but as we do that, we're going to push up with the kind of pad of our hand and flare open our fingers. That should allow the balls to create a nice height and also a nice separation. A good way to think of it is almost pushing up with that middle finger. Practice that on both sides. When you do this, you want the balls to go the same height and you also want them to end about shoulder width apart. To collect the multiplex, you'll catch the first ball, but then immediately move it over with your thumb to make room for the second ball in the fingers. So practice that until you feel comfortable with it. When you're feeling good, let's incorporate those two multiplexes into an actual pattern. Let's go. So first, we're going to incorporate that stack multiplex into a four ball pattern. The easiest way to do this is to make that stack imitate a ball in the three ball cascade. So we're going to do a three ball cascade, but one of the balls is replaced with two balls. So to get into that, I recommend starting with one ball crossing, and then the next hand you're gonna throw that two ball stack. Now when that stack is coming down, you throw the next ball. From there, it should just start feeling like the three ball cascade. It's just right, left, right, left, and every three throws, you're going to have that two ball stack. So. If you're having a hard time with that, you can practice with just three balls by doing one, two, one, two, one, two, until you get that solid, and then you can just incorporate that third ball. So there's the first multiplex trick. Hopefully, it wasn't too hard for you to pick up. If you wanna take it a step further and transition out of the four ball fountain into the trick, this is how you do it. You're gonna juggle the four ball fountain, but instead of throwing a ball in one hand, you're gonna catch it. That's gonna become your stack. Then the next ball, you're going to throw across rather than straight up. From there, you just go into this pattern. To get out of it, right after you catch that stack, you're gonna then throw one ball straight up and continue the four ball fountain from there.
The great thing about that stack multiplex, you can pretty much incorporate it into any three ball pattern. So we just did the cascade, but you could also do tennis, the half shower, four, two, three, and pretty much anything you can think of. So play around with that and come up with your own variations. The next multiplex trick we're gonna practice is using that even split multiplex that we learned. This one is still going to feel like the three ball cascade, but we're gonna be doing an even split multiplex instead. So to do that, all you're gonna do is start with that one throw again, and then this time you're gonna do an even split multiplex. But then when the two balls are going down, you're gonna throw that solo ball with the other hand. From there, it's just gonna repeat. You're gonna throw the two balls up again. Again, this should feel like the three ball cascade. It's still right, left, right, left. And every time you're throwing with the right hand, it should be an even split multiplex. And every time you're throwing with the left hand, it should just be one ball. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. If you're having a hard time incorporating all four balls, you of course can do it with just three by doing one, two, catch, one, two, catch, until that feels comfortable. And then you can incorporate that fourth ball. Now the hardest thing about this trick in my opinion is that you really do need to split those two balls so that you can throw the next ball sort of in between them. And like I said, you just gotta focus on pushing up through your fingers, up through that middle finger specifically, and separating them. Practice just that before you try to do it into the pattern. And then you can get a nice separation when you do the trick. So to get into the even split multiplex from the four ball fountain, it's gonna be similar to the other one we just learned. We're gonna start by juggling the four ball fountain and we're gonna catch two in one hand and then the next throw is going to be a crossing throw. From there, you just do the pattern. Similar to the last one we learned, this one is really fun because you can do different variations with it as well. You could do reverse throws where the multiplex is going on the outside. You can do half showers. You can even do windmill play around with incorporating that multiplex throw into different three ball patterns. The final multiplex trick we're going to learn is really similar to the one we just did. We're gonna start the same way by throwing one ball up and then an even split multiplex. But this time when those balls are coming down, instead of throwing the opposite hand, we're gonna throw one ball from that same hand that threw the multiplex. When that's coming down, you'll then throw the multiplex throw from the other hand, continued by a single ball throw from that same hand. And it will continue that way. So left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Or if you prefer to start the other way, right, left, left, right. One thing that's fun to note here is the solo ball that it's crossing is the same ball every time. So watch the white ball. Pretty cool. This one is basically a four, two, three pattern but the four is an even split multiplex. That's kind of confusing, but for those of you that are really good at side swap, that's basically what's happening. Because it's a four, two, three, there's so many cool variations you can do with it. Like an over the top throw. Do claw catches. They're all the same trick and they're awesome. If you'd like me to cover those variations in a different tutorial, let me know. Maybe I'll make another one. All right, that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out. If it did, leave me a comment and let me know. Or if you have any other suggestions of other tricks you'd like to learn, please put a comment for that as well. Also, make sure that you're subscribed to me here on YouTube and you have notifications turned on so you can be notified every time I make more tutorials. If you wanna take it a step further, you can head over to my Patreon and become a member of my Otter Club where you can get access to insider goodies and some cool pictures of otters with juggling stuff, which is adorable. Okay, that's it. I hope you have a great day. Bye. All right, I gotta do all of that again because the audio sounded like crap. Fun. It's also really hot, so it's just, it's a good time. Let's do it again. All right. All right, doing it again, again. For reals is this time.